Hello everyone and welcome to another class of Physiology for Engineers with Professor Gonzalez Fernandez at Lehigh University. Today we're going to look at the immune system uh, which is composed by all the cells and all the chemical mediators that are going to target and destroy different pathogens, uh, viruses, bacteria that are going to invade our body. So there are two different types uh, of immune system. Uh, we have or two different types of responses. We have the native or innate immune response, and we have the adaptive immune response, and they are very different. So I'm, more, I'm going to make uh, here a table comparing both the native or in, innate um, response and also the adaptive response. So first, we are going to look at the innate response. And also, we are going to compare it to the adaptive immune response. Okay, and we are going to compare it uh, depending on their function. Also, the action time. the cells that are involved in the two responses, the molecules, that are involved in the innate and adaptive immune responses, the memory, the specificity, And finally, the potency. Okay. So in terms of function, so in terms of function, the innate is going to be the first line of defense of our immune system. Okay. But in comparison, the adaptive immune system is going to be uh, the second line of defense. So it's going to be for pathogens that are able to skip uh, this first line of defense. So because this is the first line of defense and this is kind of like the second line of defense that is going to target the pathogens that escape the innate immune system, the action time is different. So here for the innate, the action time is very quick. So we are talking about zero to six hours. But here in the adaptive immune system, the time is delayed. And we are talking from days to weeks. And then the cells that are used in the different systems in the innate response and adaptive response are also different. So in case of the innate immune system or the innate response, we are going to have uh, mast cells. We are also going to have the neutrophils. So the neutrophils are the first cells that are recruited at the site of action where uh, the pathogens are detected. We are also going to have microphages. And natural killer cells, NK cells. So natural killer cells, NK cells. 
In comparison in the, in the adaptive immune system, we are going to have a different type of cells. So we are going to have B cells. So these build, B cells can be naive. Can also be activated. Can be plasma cells. The plasma cells are going to produce the antibodies. And also, they can be memory B cells. And in addition to these B cells, we also have another type of uh, adaptive immune cells, which are the T cells. So these T cells can be helper or uh, here cytotoxic and can also be memory T cells. Okay. So because we have different cells here in the innate uh, response and the adaptive response, we also have different chemical mediators and molecules that are going to act in the two different systems. So one chemical mediator that is common to both are going to be cytokines. So cytokines, for example, interleukin-1 alpha, interleukin-6, interleukin-4, interleukin-2, there are um, uh, TNF alpha, so tumor necrosis factor alpha. They are very important in both the innate and the adaptive immune response, and they are going to organize uh, and uh, they are going to stimulate the different types of cells that are going to be part of these responses. And then of the innate immune response, uh, we have a specific uh, chemical messengers. Uh, so for example, we have uh, the complement system or the complement proteins. And also we have uh, other uh, proteins. Uh, for example, we have uh, the heparin, And we also have histamine that are specific for the innate immune system. In the adaptive immune response, a part of the cytokines, uh, very importantly, we also have uh, the antibodies. So these antibodies are going to specifically recognize a specific antigens uh, from these pathogens. So uh, our uh, immune cells can target the, them specifically and destroy them uh, with a high accuracy. Also here, I forgot another uh, type of molecule that is all, all, uh, only found in the innate immune system, which are the interferons, which are going to be very, uh, very important uh, for the way that the immune system answers to viral infection. So interferon. Okay, so then we can also uh, compare them in terms of memory. So the innate immune system is not going to have a memory, so no memory. And here the adaptive immune system is going to have memory. So will be very quickly to activate when uh, our immune system um, recognizes again the infection that we already fought. And that's why, uh, for example, vaccines, uh, vaccines work, right? So here in a specificity, they are no specific. In the case of the innate immune system, so they are just going to attack every virus or every uh, pathogen that enters our organism. Uh, but here in the adaptive immune system is very specific. So thanks to the antibodies and also uh, the, um, uh, the antigens that are recognized by those antibodies uh, and the helper T cells are going to recognize the Mayer's dog compatibility complex one. Uh, this is highly specific and can target uh, specific infections and can have this uh, memory. Okay, and finally we have the potency. So the potency of the innate immune system is low. 
but the potency of the adaptive uh, immune system is very high due to this memory and specificity. Okay, so also uh, these uh, two immune systems, uh, they're regulated uh, according to uh, the time. Uh, so usually uh, they are temporally distributed, distributed. So we have first all the action of the cells of the innate immune system and later we have all the action of the cells of the adaptive immune system. So if we uh, have here a small schematic of time versus cells, uh, cell number, Here we have cell number. First, we are going to have the first uh, cells that are going to respond to a pathogen are going to be the neutrophils. So we have this increase of neutrophils and then it goes down. Almost at the same time as the neutrophils, but a bit later, we have the natural ketal cells or NK cells. Then after the neutrophils, we are going to have an increase of macrophages. Then after the macrophages, we are going to have the plasma cells. So these macrophages are going to activate the uh, B cells, the naive uh, B cells that are going to become activated. And these activated uh, B cells are going to expand and proliferate a lot. And then they are going to differentiate into plasma cells. And these plasma cells, they are going to produce antibodies. So after we have the plasma cells, then we have uh, the antibodies. Okay. And these antibodies, they are going to ensure the memory and the, species, uh, the specificity on the adaptive immune system. So uh, just recap, first we have the neutrophils, then we have the natural ketal cells, then we have the macrophages. These macrophages are going to activate uh, the naive uh, B cells and they are going to differentiate into plasma cells. And finally, the plasma cells are going to produce and secrete antibodies that are going to give us that memory and specificity. Okay, so next, uh, in the next part of the lecture, we are going to uh, look a bit more at the different processes that happen in the innate response versus the adaptive response. So I'll see you in a second.